It's time for Rhythm Tracks. Rhythm Tracks. Associated Film Services. We're not even fit to pick through Coronet's dumpster. It's great to get out and have fun. Uh, wah, feeling unsafe. Can I at least ride on the handlebars? But there is always the chance of an accident. Telk, goo goo, I, I said ga ga. Uh, that's not uh, too serious. But if it happens to you or to a friend, that's something else. It can be an emergency. Yeah, depends on the friend, really. I can't help but notice you haven't picked me up yet. Uh, Sally, have I disappointed you in some way? <sighs> All right, well, look, I'll get myself home. See you back at the ranch. Sally. <laughs> An emergency is a situation where you have to do the right thing quickly. They're playing Frisbee in the Planet of the Apes Forbidden Zone. <laughs> Shall I play Frisbee in the Forbidden Zone? Oh, it seems like you got it. Here you go. Oh, Annie, take it easy. I'll get you out. Mary is prepared. She knows what to do. Which is to let him stand on the bottom, which is obviously two yeah, feet below him. <laughs> she could have used a lot of things. A rope, a towel. He can't he swim, it. nor can he perform Anything basic human functions. So he could pull himself to safety. <laughs> Can you think of ways that this emergency could have been prevented from happening? Yeah, Mary could have cut that kid Jack loose years ago. He's swim. clearly dead weight. Or suppose he'd been more careful about what he was doing and where he was going. Mm -hmm. And while we are supposing, let's suppose for a minute that Mary wasn't there to help him. Let's suppose that. She seems really excited to watch this kid struggle for his life. If you ever find yourself in this situation, don't panic. Remember, the water will hold you up if you let it. Yeah, come One on, drowning water, victims. Why didn't you let the water hold down, you up? Slowly. Take easy breaths. Bit loose of Tania bring victims. Bring your arms up and then push them down again. As you move your arms, kick your legs gently. Well, thank you, lifeguards, but we won't be needing your services anymore because it's as simple as that. Let the water hold you up. Accidents can happen to anyone, but they are particularly likely to happen to younger people. Yeah, when's the last time you saw a senior citizen in the when hospital? You were a lot younger. You were curious about everything. You were always getting into things. Like horrible red outfits. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Hey, Julie, where are you? Julie? <laughs> you know not to put anything that isn't food into your mouth unless your parents or doctor give it to you. But if you see a garage Julie, packed with boxes, eat anything you find. <laughs> it's but the safe thing to do. Your sisters or friends might not. Don't do that. The rat poison is much faster acting. What would you do if you thought someone had eaten something they shouldn't have? You didn't share, on, jerk. I'm going to your mom. Oh, don't tell on me. Julie might get into trouble for playing where she's not supposed to, but that's a lot better than letting the chemical stay inside her if she's eaten it. Hey, we're going to lose another if one. If you think someone has eaten something they shouldn't, get an adult right away and show them what you think was eaten. Act with the urgency of someone getting up to turn off their lawn sprinkler. Absolute silence is required. Sometimes the box or bottle tells exactly what's in it and what to do in case of poisoning. Clumsily obscure and illegally Richard actionable trademarks. Did it quickly. Julie is going to be all right. But let's suppose... Suppose her mother hadn't been right there. Hmm. What could Bridget have done? Mm, found a what freelance architect? Done? She could have looked for another grown-up. Maybe a policeman, a fireman, or a teacher. Yeah, you'll find a couple Let's teachers in any suburban no garage. Like this was around. <laughs> Foraging no for food. But Bridget and little Julie. <laughs> then what? Bridget has to act quickly. She can't wait for someone to show up sooner or later. I need a telephone. Right. 
But who would you call? I don't know, kid store, order a smarter Ask kid. Your parents Good idea. To put a list of emergency telephone numbers in a place you can reach. Numbers for the fire. And hey, is it an A or an E in ambulance? Yeah, just ambulance. put both. Okay. Don't ever play with a phone, but use it if you ever really need help. Hello, my name is Bridget Smith. I'm, I'm the chief. Why am I answering the phone? My friend just ate some cleaning stuff she found in the garage. Tell whoever you call your name, your address, and what the problem is. Yeah, I got a boy here Don't named Julie. Don't up until they say goodbye to you. Be sure you answer all their questions. Okay, Bridget, we'll be right there. Goodbye. Bad lieutenant's loser brother, kind of a puss lieutenant. Of course, there are some accidents for which you don't need to get help right away. Suppose this were a real cut. What would you do? Get the guy who gave it to you twice as good? Yeah. The best way is to press on it with a cloth, or if you don't have one, with your hand. The doctor, are you going to pump my don't stomach? Or... Off, even if you think the bleeding is stopped. If you take it off, the bleeding might start again. Once you have stopped the bleeding, get some grown-up to help. An extremely hirsute one, if possible. There are situations where the best thing to do is nothing at all. Like when the kid who ate poison owes you money. I don't understand why mommy and daddy say they like swinging so much. We better get someone to come on. No, it hurts! Timmy, the spelling test isn't until tomorrow. What's that? Oh, I'm fine then. If you take a fall and it hurts a lot, don't move. Take it easy. Let help come to you. Unless you're in a place that's really dangerous and you have to move. Uh, we're going to have to 127 hours, you Timmy. Let me go get some help and we'll bring you in on a stretcher. Will I be okay? Sure you will. You'll be fine. Oh, God. He's a goner. Thinking about emergencies before they happen will prepare you to deal with them when they do occur. For example, fire. Let's start one. Now, you've had fire drills at school. It's the Menards Ask guy. Ask your parents <laughs> to have the same kind of drill at home. Be sure you know how to get out of the house fast if you have to. Throw some rope if out the window. It'll make you feel like a big a man. Apartment. A rope or a rope ladder will help you escape quickly. Suppose, just suppose you were in bed one night hmm. and you woke up and there was a fire in the house. I hope it starts with those ugly Would sheets. Smoke, or... <sighs> Would you be very careful about opening doors? Would you stop to feel the door and doorknob? Or the creepy metal if owl on your hot, shelf? <laughs> that would mean fire on the other side. No place for you to be. Take another route out of the house. He's gone. Quick, let's bone till we can't move anymore. <laughs> and if there were smoke, would you know what to do? Stay low. The heat and smoke will rise above you. Is that why it's shooting In straight fire, down? <laughs> the air near the ground is much safer to breathe. And would you know not to use the telephone? If you're in a house that's on fire, get out. Sounds there insane, but it works. time later to call for help. Get out of the house and stay out. D Dad's enjoying this. <laughs> Twisted man. This house is my prison. Burn, you son of a bitch. There are things you can do about emergencies before they happen. Keep away from places you know are dangerous. Hard hats only. When will this discrimination end? If you're with your little sister or brother or with a little friend, keep an eye on them. Or invest in a but tracking if an collar. If does occur, know what to do. Get a grown-up if you think someone has poisoned themselves. Let's eat the box of Say Winston's next. It was they ate. If your parents aren't around, get help. Phone someone who can help. Motionless in a Brady Bunch fire. box. <laughs> know where your parents keep the emergency telephone numbers. Remember, stop bleeding by pressing. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. If someone complains of a lot of pain, don't try to move them. Get help from a grown-up. But not me. I'll move the hell out of them. 
think ahead about what you and your family would do if there were a fire in the house. Pretend to be a cow. Think ahead. That's the key to doing the right thing in an emergency. Think ahead during Think the emergency? It seems, seems a little late to me, but okay. Do's and don'ts. But remember, these are just rules to help Look how you. happy the gun kid is. So <laughs> if you ever have to face an emergency, you'll know what to do. So all these kids went home and asked their parents to get rope ladders and do fire drills, and their parents said, not a chance. Job well done. Oh, man, you guys. I just can't stop wondering what bleach tastes like. Let's that finish is us. Yeah. Bleach. Hmm. It's time for Copyright by Rift Tracks. All rights reserved.